What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Soul Vice. I don't know about you, but for me, today is a very good day. I'm celebrating a couple of things. The first thing, it's been a year. So I've been on YouTube for a year. My first review was uploaded, I want to say on March 16th of 2019. And the second thing is I've hit 500 subscribers. That was the first milestone that I was really looking uh, to reach. And I finally got there with your help. Um, so of course that means the giveaway for the Jordan 5 Michigans has now completed. Um, I let the winner know on Instagram. Um, I went on live, there were a few people on there uh, just so I could show everybody um, that it was a random and fair giveaway. So thank you guys so much for getting me to 500 subscribers. We're only growing from here. The next milestone is a thousand, so we're officially on the road to a thousand subscribers. Um, and if you didn't win the giveaway, definitely don't worry. I'm gonna be doing more giveaways um, along the way so you guys will have more chances uh, to cop some sneakers um, for free from me. Um, now, I'm probably not gonna do a sneaker giveaway every time I'm not made of money, um, but I do wanna keep kind of doing giveaways just to give back to you guys because I really, really appreciate every single one of you. This channel is a ton of fun for me, so to have people out there supporting, um, again, I really, really appreciate you guys. So to celebrate my YouTube birthday, um, as well as the 500 subscriber milestone, I'm gonna go ahead and do a collection video for you guys. Um, I've had a couple of you hit me up asking for a collection video, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that for you guys now, uh, let you know what's in the collection. I don't have a huge collection, I haven't been collecting for that long, um, but I'm gonna let you know what I have. It's a humble start to uh, hopefully a long career of copying sneakers and reviewing them for you guys on YouTube. Um, so here's to a thousand subscribers. Let's go ahead and get into my collection. So this video, I want it to be a little bit more conversational. I'm not gonna do a ton of edits on this. Kind of just me hanging out with you guys, kind of showing you what I've got in the collection. Um, so the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna start off with a pair of Vans that I have. Uh, then we're gonna go Adidas, Nikes, and we're gonna finish it off with my Jordans. Uh, my Jordans are my favorite shoes in my collection. So I'm gonna save the best for last. If you guys don't give a crap about Vans, Adidas, and Nikes, or whatever, just fast forward to wherever you want in the video. Um, but hopefully you wanna hang out and I'll show you guys what I've got in the collection. So let's start with the first pair of shoes, my pair of Vans that I wanna show you guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into the first pair of shoes, which like I said, is a pair of Vans. <clears throat> so these were gifted to me by my parents for my birthday last year. Um, I needed a pair of black and white Vans because I haven't had one in the collection for a little while. Um, and in my opinion, in Southern California especially, you need to have a pair of black and white Vans in the collection or you don't have a complete collection. Uh, they're just so classic, so wearable. Um, and uh, to me, it's just like, you really don't get much more of a classic shoe than a pair of Vans, especially black and white. Um, and especially one of like the original uh, silhouettes. So like your old schools, authentics, skate highs, things like that. I, I really love them. And again, if you're in Southern California, you absolutely need a pair. So these are the Vans Vault OG. Uh, old school LX. So uh, my homie Chris put me on to the Vans Vault collection. Uh, so basically what they are is uh, the normal shoes that you have from Vans. So like your authentics, old schools, things like that. Um, but they're gonna put a twist on them, better uh, quality on the materials, things like that. And I need a new pair of black and white Vans just because mine were completely thrashed. Um, I threw them away a while ago. There was holes, they smelled bad. It was not a good situation for those. So. This was my new pair. So to a lot of people, they're gonna look just like any old pair of Vans old school, um, but it's kind of like one of those if you know, you know situations. So there's a few uh, details that are a little bit different. Again, the materials are a lot better. You don't have that black border that goes along the top of the midsole. Uh, they're not black and white. This is actually black and marshmallow. So just slightly off white. Um, the, the laces, they're thicker, they're nicer. Um, so uh, I really, really like these a lot. They've already got a lot of wear, uh, which brings me to my first point. So you're gonna notice a common theme among all of my shoes, and that is that every single pair has been worn. I believe in wearing your shoes. If you don't, that's totally fine. But to me, shoes are meant to be worn. So every single pair I've got have been worn at least once, most of them quite a few times. Um, I just try to get my money's worth out of them. And not to mention, I think that the more you wear a shoe, the more character it's gonna get. Uh, those miles that you put on your shoes uh, just kind of separate your shoes from somebody else's because somebody's dead stock pair of you know black cement threes is gonna be the same as somebody else's dead stock pair of black cement threes. But my pair of black cement threes, they've got a story to them. They've got character. Um, so again, that's just one of the other reasons I think you really should wear your shoes. Um, but with that out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my Adidas collection. So the first pair 
These are my EQT 9317s. Uh, so this was actually the first pair of shoes that I got with Boost. Um, everybody was talking about Boost. Got to have a pair of you know shoes with Boost in the midsole um, in your collection. They're super comfy. So this is the first pair that I went with. Um, I was kind of between these and I think a pair of Ultra Boost at the time. Um, but I just really, really love the way these look. Um, and everybody had Ultra Boost, so I kind of wanted something that not everybody wore. Um, and I think these are just like super underappreciated. Um, I think that the, the shape on these is just amazing. Um, I just really, really love the silhouette. Um, and the materials on these, pretty good actually. You've got this really cool Stingray leather on the inside of the, uh, the shoe here. You've got some nice uh, le um, suede on the back. Uh, super comfy, obviously, they're boost. This isn't prime knit, but it's stretchy knit material nonetheless. So uh, these are very comfortable to wear. They're all comfy shoe, cool shoe. I really like these a lot. Um, I think they're underrated. So yeah, that's my uh, EQT 9317s. The next pair, <clears throat> this is my one and only pair of Ultra Boosts. So my wife got these for me actually for Christmas this past year. Uh, these are a collaboration with Universal Works, with uh, which is a British clothing company. They're kind of like, um, I'd say like a North Face or a Patagonia or something like that over here in the States. Um, as far as I know, I think they're kind of like um, athletic wear, um, outdoor wear. I think they do some work wear and things like that as well. Um, but I really, really like this colorway a lot. Um, my wife kind of went out of her way to get me something that I hadn't explicitly asked for, um, which I think was cool. Uh, she knocked it out of the park with these. They are so comfy. So I don't have any of the pairs of kind of like the original Ultra Boost, like the one through four. So I can't really compare, but I can say that this, uh, the Ultra Boost 19 is extremely comfortable. Um, they like really like mold to your foot, which I really, really like that feeling. And of course they've got Boost. So they're super cushiony, um, decent arch support, which I wasn't really expecting just looking at them. They don't really look like they have really good arch support, but I can wear these all day and they feel really good on my feet. So these are probably like the second most comfortable shoe in my collection. Um, so we'll actually move on to the most uh, comfortable shoe in my collection from there. So that's gonna be <clears throat> that's gonna be my Easy 700s. So we're gonna start with the Inertia colorway. These are super special to me. Uh, the main reason why is because this is the first pair of shoes that I reviewed on YouTube. Uh, don't go back and watch that interview, or sorry, that review, because it's bad. It's like really, really embarrassingly bad. Um, if I go back and watch it now, it's it, I leave it up because it's like, it's really nice. Obviously it's my first review, but it's nice to be able to go back and see where I started to where I am now just a year later. Um, and I'm obviously not where I wanna be. I've got a lot of room to grow, um, but it was cool to see me review these and um, it kind of looks like one of those like, I don't know, ISIS terrorist videos where they have somebody like in front of the camera talking and saying like, this is what you have to do so that I don't die or whatever. That's kind of what it looks like. I look really uncomfortable. The lighting's terrible. My camera settings were off. It was just, it was a bad time. So <laughs> anyway, these are my first ones. I absolutely love Yeezy 700s. Um, they're, they're the most comfortable shoe that I have for sure. It's like the perfect combination of a shoe with a lot of cushion because they have boost, but they've got like a lot of support. Um, if I want a shoe that like is gonna keep my feet feeling good literally all day long, um, if I wanna go to Disneyland and I know I'm gonna be there all day, 700s are the way that I'm gonna go. I really like the Inertia colorway. Um, it's my second favorite 700 colorway. Uh, the first is gonna be the Wave Runner, so we'll go ahead and go with those. I'm gonna put these away real quick. <clears throat> so, these are my Wave Runners. I absolutely love Easy Wave Runners. Uh, the Wave Runners are my absolute favorite Yeezy ever created with Adidas. So all those people out there about to jump on me, Air Yeezys are my favorite, but um, since Kanye decided to leave Nike for whatever reason, in my opinion, this is his best work. This colorway is just like, it was like an instant classic, um, almost an instant classic because of how much people hated it right away. And I'm not gonna lie, I was one of those people, but the more that I saw them, uh, the more that they really just started to grow on me. Some people are gonna tell me it's because of hype. I promise you I'm not a hype beast. I'm not worried about what other people like. You'll see I've got some shoes in this collection that a lot of people really 
don't give a shit about, but to me, they're fire. So I don't like these because everybody does. I like them because I think Kanye has like an incredible vision for creativity. Um, and I think that he's just ahead of the game in a lot of ways. And a lot of times, the first time we see something that he's created, we're not gonna appreciate it. It's gotta sit with us a little bit. We kind of have to catch up to him in a lot of ways. Um, I'm a big Kanye fan, if you can't tell. So um, just as far as creativity goes, the guy's kind of a maniac outside of that. But um, his creativity, his music, his, uh, his fashion, I'm super into it. So these are for sure my favorite Yeezys um, ever created. I'm really, really happy to have these in the collection. Um, but that pretty much does it for my Adidas and my Yeezys. So we'll go ahead and get started with Mikey's. So these are my Air Max 90. I want to say this was called like the Varsity Pack or something like that. Um, yeah, I think it was called the Varsity Pack, but they did these in a couple of other colorways. I really, really like the colors on these. Um, honestly, I was just looking for a shoe to wear for summer that looked good with shorts. Um, and I'm really not a guy who wears high tops with shorts quite a bit. So I go with more kind of low cut shoes when I'm wearing shorts. And I've always been a huge fan of Air Maxes, especially Air Max 90s. Um, Air Max 90s are my favorite Air Maxes. Um, so I got these on sale from Foot Locker and um, I just, I really like this colorway. It's a nice mix of red and blue and gold. Uh, the, the swoosh here is done in kind of like a terry cloth material, which I think is a cool detail. Um, and then the uh, Nike Air on the back and the Air Max are actually patches instead of the, the plastic that they usually have on there. Um, so yeah, these are, these are pretty cool. I think these are kind of underrated as well um, for a colorway. Uh, these are super comfy actually. Um, in my opinion, you feel the airbag in these um, more than any other shoe that I have with an airbag, um, other than like the pair of 270s that I have. Those obviously have a gigantic bubble on them, but uh, these are really comfy. The cushioning on these is great. Um, I can pretty much wear these all day too. Um, and the, the uh, sock liner on these is like that same terry cloth material. So it's really comfy and yeah, I like these a lot. These are my Air Max 90s. Moving on. All right, so these are my Air Max 180s. This is the Night Ops colorway. Uh, so this was actually part of a pack. They had Air Max 180s, they had Air Max 90s, and I think they had Air Max Pluses as well in the Night Ops colorway. Uh, so my wife got me a, a champion hoodie, I think two Christmases ago that had the same like neon green color and I just wanted something to match that hoodie. Uh, so I, I went with these uh, black neon green. Uh, now probably the coolest thing about these is the outsole glows in the dark. I am a sucker for glow in the dark shoes. Um, so I was kind of like back and forth between these and a couple of other shoes. Um, but it was not really even um, advertised anywhere that I saw that they have glow in the dark outsoles but I saw somebody's review on YouTube um, of these and I saw that they glow in the dark. So I, like, I was like, oh, sold. <laughs> so I instantly went online, bought a pair of these. I think I was able to get these on sale too, which was nice. Um, they also have a Stingray leather swoosh on them, on um, both sides of the shoe actually, which is really cool. I love one, um, Air Max 180s. Um, Tinker Hatfield obviously is a genius. So um, these are just, these are really, really nice. Not the most comfortable shoe that I have actually. The uh, the upper on these is kind of like stiff and the way the toe box is constructed, it just kind of feels weird on my toe. Um, but overall, yeah, I like these a lot. This is the Air Max 180 Night Ops colorway. So after that, we've got the Air Tech Challenge 2. This is the Hot Lava colorway. Uh, this is the white pair, so these came out um, I want to say early this year. No, no, these came out last year. My bad. Uh, these came out last year. The black pair just came out a little bit ago. Um, I missed those unfortunately, but uh, this is the white pair. I actually like the white a lot more than the black anyway, just cause there is quite a bit of black on the back of these. So, um, I really, really love these. These are like, they just scream like eighties and nineties to me. And anything that screams eighties and nineties is cool in my book. I'm a 90s kid, so um, yeah, these like, you just can't get much more 80s or 90s looking than these with the colorway, um, with that like paint splatter pattern on the bottom. And again, another great 
by uh, Mr. Tinker Hatfield himself. Uh, these are really, really nice. The, uh, the uh, sole unit on these, if you can't tell, that's actually the sole unit that Kanye used on the Air Yeezy 2. So a lot of cool things about these. I did a review for these. Um, yeah, I like these a lot. Uh, they're kind of heavy. That's the only kind of downside to these. But anyways, those are my Air Tech Challenge 2 Hot Lava. Okay, moving on to probably the most underrated shoe in my collection. So these are the Air Force 270 Safari colorway. Um, so the Air Force 270 did not get a lot of love. Um, and honestly, the other colorways weren't crazy. I, I wasn't a huge fan of them either. There were a couple cool ones, um, but the shoe overall, I just, it's so different. Like there wasn't anything that looked like these. There still isn't anything that looked like these. Um, and I guess for a lot of people, that was a good thing because a lot of people didn't like them. But to me, they're just, they're super different. Um, they are pretty comfortable. And this colorway is amazing. Like they just, I feel like whoever designed these, um, I wish I had his name, but whoever designed these really, really just like hit it out of the park with these. Like there's a perfect like balance of the orange um, with the safari print. Um, and you've got this cool strap with the buckle on the front. Um, these are these are just really, really cool in my opinion. Uh, not a lot of people like them, but uh, I'm a big fan. So these are the Air Force 270 in the Safari colorway. <clears throat> All right, so let's do these. Got another pair of Air Maxes. Okay, so these are Air Max 1. This is the Tokyo Maze colorway. So these were um, part of a collection of the Nike On Air um, contest that they did. So they had a bunch of designers from all over the world, kind of like what they had with the, uh, the Sean Weatherspoon Air Maxes, but basically everybody voted on their favorite pair. I voted on these, so I got early access to them. Um, and I'm really glad because I, I just, I absolutely love these. Uh, Yuta Takuman was the name of the guy who designed these. Um, and I just, I think he knocked it out of the park with these. A lot of really, really good details with these, a bunch of extra laces and patches for the tongue. And he just went crazy. Um, I did a review for those. Um, and these are really special to me because this is the first review that I did uh, that hit a thousand views. Um, so um, I look back on that review as kind of like the first review that I did that I was like super proud of when I was done with it. I watched it back and I was like, yeah, like I, I like how that came out. So um, the B-roll and everything like that, it just kind of came together. So I'm a big fan of these for a lot of reasons. There's a cool story to them um, for me. Um, and I think they just look amazing. They're black and white, so they go with everything. So yeah, those are my Air Max 1 Tokyo Maze. All right, so moving on. So I actually just picked these up. These are the Nike Element 87 React or Nike React 87, I don't know. How, but it's the 87s. Um, so this was my first pair of these. I didn't get any when they first came out. Um, I missed the black and the white pair that first came out. And then after that, the colorways that were coming out, I, I like them, but there was like other shoes that I'd rather spend $160 on, to be honest with you. Um, but the other day, Hess Kicks, uh, he tweets out deals pretty frequently. And I got these for like less than 50% off. Like I got a crazy deal on them. I wanna say before taxes, they were like $75, $78. And if you can get a pair of these for that kind of money, don't even think about it. Like I really, really like these. I'm probably gonna end up doing a review on them. I know that these have come out quite a while ago, but. Um, but I am a big fan of these. They're super comfy, and I really, really actually like this colorway quite a bit. Um, I've got an ACG windbreaker that's this blue, and uh, this is solar red is what they call it, but um, I think it's actually, at least on like the, the little details here on the upper on the shoe, it's closer to the hyper pink that I have on my windbreaker. So I was looking for a pair of shoes for a while that would match that windbreaker. These popped up for stupid money, so I went ahead and just copped these. I'm a huge fan. So yeah, those are my Nike 87 Element Reacts. And we'll go ahead and move on. All right, so moving on, sorry, there was a quick edit there. My Kendrick Lamar LP that's framed back there fell down and made a big loud noise and it was a mess. So <laughs> I'm back now. This is my off-white pair of Nike Dunks. So this is the first pair of off-white shoes that I have in my collection. Um, back when I was first starting off, uh, starting my collection, I did cop a couple of pairs of off-whites that I ended up flipping. Um, not only just to kind of like make money to start buying other shoes, 
um, but they were the wrong size. I'm kind of kicking myself today just like I really wish I had them back. I actually was able to cop that pair of UNC uh, Jordan 1s. I got exclusive access to those on the sneakers app, um, but I was only able to get like I think a size 7 or size 8, something like that. Uh, so being a size 12, there was no way I was going to fit into those. Um, so anyway, I'm here now with my dunks and I actually really, really like these. Uh, the first time that I saw these, I was like already a huge fan. Uh, so I was able to cop these on Nike Draw. These were the second pair of shoes that I copped on Nike Draw. Um, usually I have terrible luck with those, um, but uh, I guess the day these came out, I was in good luck. Out of the three pairs, these are the ones that I wanted the most as well. So um, yeah, I'm really happy about these. Um, I'm a huge fan of Dunks. Uh, I had a pair of Nike Dunks when I was in high school. Uh, they weren't SBs either. Uh, it was just like regular Dunks. Um, they're really, really comfy to me. That's kind of like a neutral feeling midsole, obviously not like a lot of cushion or anything like that. But um, to me, like these and Jordan 1s feel very similar. Um, obviously the construction of them is very similar as well. Um, so I really like the way they feel on foot. Um, I really, really like this like zigzag um, extra set of laces on these. They're just crazy different. Um, I think Virgil did a great job with these as he does with most of the things that he touches, um, especially with his Nike and Jordan collab. So these are my off-white Nike Dunks. I absolutely love these. Uh, but let's get moving to my last pair of Nikes. Okay, so these, if you know what they are, you already know this is a very special pair of shoes, uh, now more than ever. These are my undefeated Kobe 4 Pro Tros. Uh, this is the Black Mamba colorway. Um, Kobe passing this year was like a huge, huge bummer. Um, I've been a Laker fan for not very long. Um, actually, basketball was the last sport that I really got into. I've been a baseball and a hockey guy for a long time, but um, I want to say it was like the 2014 playoffs that I started watching and like I was hooked at that point. And just being a Southern California guy, I picked the Lakers as my team. So I've been following them since then. I got to see Kobe's last season, um, but even not really following basketball, obviously Kobe is a legend and I was super familiar with him. I had lots of friends who were big Kobe fans and things like that. Um, so losing him at the beginning of this year was a really, really big bummer. Um, so I was really, really glad that I ended up copying these uh, before that happened. And I don't think there's a better colorway to have in these than his colorway, the Black Mamba colorway. Um, these were my favorite of the five that came out anyway. Um, so I am like really, really glad that I have these in the collection not just because of the fact that he's gone now, but uh, these are just like amazing shoes anyway. They're super comfortable. They look amazing. Um, and the details on the undefeated version are great. I reviewed these as well. Uh, you've got the eight and the 24 on the back of these. Um, I'm just a huge fan of these um, and they're very, very special to me. Um, I was really bummed to see a lot of people like profiting off of his passing by just like the re uh, the resale price on these like went way 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 up i think these were reselling before he passed for like 250 somewhere in that neighborhood and at one point they were up to like 800 bucks now i think they've settled back down to like i think five or six hundred but still it's just kind of weird to me uh, that people would profit off of that now on the flip side of that if somebody was like really having a like a hard go of things and they needed money i'm sure kobe would have wanted them to to make money off of that but if you're just somebody who is just profiting for no other reason than just to make a quick buck off of his passing, that was something that was really, really bothering me. So, I mean, to me, I could not care less if these were reselling for $10 um, or $5,000. It doesn't make a difference to me. These are always going to be in my collection. These will never leave my collection. I'm very, very happy to have these. All right, so that pretty much wraps it up for the Nikes. So we're going to move on to my favorite shoes, which is my Jordans. <clears throat> All right, so we'll start off with my Jordan 1s. <clears throat> start off with my favorite Jordan 1s. So these are obviously my Jordan 1 Shadows. These are the 2018 pair. Um, I, I think this is probably my favorite 
colorway of Jordan 1s. Um, it's really tough for me to pick between these and the band ones and the Chicago ones. All three of those to me are just like amazing. But um, I think if I had to pick one pair of Jordan 1s to wear forever, it would be these. Um, I wear a lot of black, a lot of dark colors. So black and gray, you really can't go wrong with it. Um, and the leather on these, really, really soft. A lot of people like that soft leather. I like it too. Um, and these have gotten a ton, a ton of wear. As I'm sure you can tell, like, they're they're pretty beat. Um, but to me, Jordan 1s look incredible when they get worn quite a bit. Um, I, again, kind of just like that character that I was talking about. They just grow more character. Um, so yeah, these are my shadows, my Jordan 1 shadows. I'm a huge fan of these. These are my probably my favorite Jordan 1s. Really, really happy to have these in the collection. So next, I can put these back away the way they're supposed to go. <clears throat> All right, so next is the Game Royal ones. So this was actually the first pair of Jordan 1s that I ever got. Um, I'm trying my hardest as I'm buying Jordans to start off with an OG colorway and then go from there. Um, but I knew that the shadows were gonna be coming out a little bit later in the year anyway. They came out, I wanna say like a month or two after these. So I knew those were coming. Um, but I wanted something to rock with my uh, Dodger gear. I'm a huge Dodger fan. So I wanted something in blue and white. So it was between these or the Motorsport 4s. Um, I like those Motorsport 4s a lot, but you just cannot go wrong with a classic pair of Air Jordan 1s. So I went with these and I'm really glad that I did. Um, I wear these quite a bit too, not nearly as much as my shadows. Um, but yeah, the Game Royal ones I think are really, really under underrated. Um, I think it's kind of weird because when they first came out, I don't really remember there being any hype for these, like really at all. Um, people kind of just slept on these. Um, but now the Jordan ones that are coming out with like the same color blocking, uh, these essentially have the same color blocking as like the court purples that are coming out. Pretty much these are the same color blocking as the Chicago ones. Only difference is Chicago ones obviously have a white tongue, these have a black tongue but pretty much everything else same color blocking um, and everybody loves those but for whatever reason these kind of flew under the radar a little bit um, which is fine for me because i liked getting these for retail these are actually going for i want to say like 300 bucks now um, so obviously people kind of caught on to how sick they are um, but yeah i really like these especially being a dodger fan uh, these are definitely some of my favorite jordans that i have in the collection <clears throat> All right, so next we'll go ahead and do these. So these are the Air Jordan 1. These were part of the Fearless pack. This is the Zoom Air pair of Jordan 1s. Um, they're done in this really, really nice um, like color shifting type color. So they're all one color, but um, just depending on how the light is hitting them, they change colors. Um, and they've got the translucent outsole um, as well. Now these were also a gift from my wife. Uh, she got these for me last Christmas um, or my birthday. My birthday is December 24th, so um, they all kind of blend in. So Christmas, birthday, she got these for me. Um, I really, really like these a lot. Um, they have Zoom Air in them, so they're kind of bouncy and cushy, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm not as crazy about that detail as a lot of other people. Um, I really like the way that the original Jordan 1s feel on feet anyway. That neutral feeling in the midsole is something that... Um, I don't know, I think just works for me. I have like really bad um, flat feet. So for some reason, um, if something's like too cushiony, it ends up hurting my feet over time. Uh, but anyway, I digress. Uh, I really like these a lot. The colorway on these is sweet. Uh, a lot of people don't like that they kind of crease really, really badly just because of the material they're made out of. I don't mind that so much. Um, these also came with two uh, spare pairs of laces. They came with green and red laces. Um, so I think I'm just gonna keep the black in here, but I always like having extra laces. I think it's just kind of like a extra little detail that um, kind of goes a long way for me. So yeah, that's my Zoom Air Jordan 1s. And then next, we've got the Obsidian uh, Jordan 1s or the UNC Jordan 1s. Uh, these are really, really nice. Um, this is one of my favorite pairs of Jordan 1s that came out last year. Um, I was a big fan of the patent leather uh, Blue Chill UNC ones that came out at the beginning of last year. 
Those were a women's exclusive and my feet are too big to fit any of the women's shoes that come out unless they go like way up on the size 12. So that's what a 13 and a half in women's. I don't think those came out in that far extended sizing. So um, I was happy to get these pretty much the same colorway, very slightly different. Um, and I think I like leather better than patent leather anyway. I like patent leather, but it's not quite as wearable. Um, and I don't really know if I can pull it off with the stuff that I wear. So I'm happy to have these, big fan of these, really good leather on these, um, super wearable. I love these a lot. Uh, so yeah, UNC or Obsidian Jordan ones. All right, so <clears throat> my most recent Jordan 1 pickup is gonna be the Air Jordan 1 High 85 Varsity Red. Um, I'm a big, big fan of these. Um, obviously, black and red Jordan 1s, can't really go wrong there. Um, the only downside to these is the sizing. Like, normal Jordan 1s have a little bit of extra room in them, and I kind of always thought that they were like maybe a half size too big, um, but they're, they're still super comfy. So I never did half size down. These I went true to size, and I kind of wish I went a half size up. Like, the toe on these um, is just barely, barely too small. So I'm kind of bummed about that. Um, but other than that, same kind of like feeling that you get with Jordan 1s. They're more narrow though, um, so slightly different there. Um, but the leather on these, a lot of people want to talk a lot of trash about them, but I actually like the leather. They're starting to break in uh, pretty well, um, getting some nice wear kind of like um, on the edges of the leather, kind of where the, uh, the suede underneath starts to come out. And I just think over time, these are going to start to look really good, get a lot of character to them. Um, and again, a black and red Jordan 1, you can't really go wrong. Uh, so yeah, those are my 85 varsity red Jordan 1s. All right, so <clears throat> that wraps up for my Jordan 1s. So I don't have any Jordan 2s, so we're gonna go to Jordan 3. So let's start with start with the Katrinas. So these are my Katrina Jordan 3s. Um, I am not like, Black Cement 3, I'm just gonna give it away. Those are my favorite shoes of all time. Um, but Jordan 3s, I'm really picky with. Even though the Black Cement 3 is my favorite shoe of all time, Jordan 3s, like the colorways, like it, the further you get away from OG colorways on Jordan 3s, the less that I like them. So these I do like a lot because they're very, very close to the white cements. Obviously, you just have the red stripe on the back, which I think is a cool um, detail. I think I would rather have white cements than these, obviously, but um, I think the year that these came out, the only thing that came out that was close to those, actually there were two pairs. There was the Dunk Contest uh, white cement threes, so they were white cement threes, but the outsole uh, was transparent and you have the, the line from the free throw line. Um, and then also those JTH Tinker threes, uh, which were super sick as well, but both of those were pretty limited and I did not hit on them. So this was kind of like the next best thing. I contemplated uh, customing these and turning them into black or white cement threes, um, but I, I like these a lot actually. And obviously the Katrina threes have a cool history as well. Uh, these hadn't released since you know they did the. It was like a fundraiser during Hurricane Katrina. They raffled a pair off um, so that they could raise money, and we hadn't seen them since Hurricane Katrina hit, which I want to say that was what 2009, 2008, something like that. Um, so it was cool to get these. Um, I really like them a lot. White cement threes are very wearable. Um, and that nice red stripe on the back as well. Um, I like these a lot. So those are my Katrina threes. Next, the best shoe in my collection. <clears throat> and the shoe that started my collecting going to be the black cement threes. So the way that I got into collecting sneakers is uh, there was a pair of Paul George, it was the Paul George twos, they did the PlayStation colorway. And <clears throat> I'm a little bit of a gamer and kind of like a tech nerd. So I follow uh, The Verge, which is like a tech blog um, or news website, whatever you want to call it. And they did a story on the PG2 PlayStation shoes. So I think the headline was something like the new Paul George shoes are like dual shock controllers for your feet. And being a gamer, I was like, oh, I got to check these out. Um, so I was looking at those. They looked amazing. I really wanted them. And you had to download the sneakers app in order to get them. So I downloaded the sneakers app and I just start scrolling through and I saw these and I instantly fell in love with these. So, um, 
my brother was a skater. So the first shoes that I liked when I was a kid was skate shoes. Um, S's, DC's, uh, America, um, all these kinds of shoes. Like that's what I really loved. And even though I have only been collecting shoes for a couple years, I've always loved shoes. Like to me, not too many better feelings than getting a fresh pair of shoes. Um, I just really didn't know about limited shoes. I really didn't know about Jordan. So these were my introduction and my God, like these are just fucking insane. The colorway on this is just like so crazy. Uh, they scream 80s with that elephant print. Um, and you, I could really see where those skate shoes kind of pulled their inspiration. Um, I actually just saw an interview that Chad Muska did um, on a, a podcast called The Nine Club. And he was talking about his first pair of S's that he designed and um, he did bring up Jordans. You could obviously see that like there was a lot of inspiration there. So um, Black Cement 3 is the absolute best sneaker in my collection. Um, I don't care if you disagree. I absolutely love these. There's nothing better than a pair of Black Cement 3s. And of course, back in 2018, we got them with the Nike Air on the back, which is the way that they're supposed to be. Nike branding on the outsole as well. Nike Air branding on the insole. Uh, they did these right. <clears throat> Only gripe that I have about them, I really wish that they had the OG shape like they've been doing, like with the Red Cement 3s and with those UNC 3s. Um, that's the only gripe. I hope we get a pair of like true, true OG Black Cement 3s in the near future. That would be incredible. But until then, I'm very, very happy with these. I've worn them quite a bit, as you can probably see. Um, super comfy to me too. I, I can wear these all day and they feel pretty good on feet. Um, but yeah, Black Cement 3 is best shoe in my collection. Uh, I love these. So, all right, moving on. So that was my last pair of threes. So now we're on to the fours. So black cement fours. Um, these came out a little bit kind of like toward the beginning of last year. Um, another one of my all time favorite sneakers. Um, these are just obviously classic black cement fours. Uh, I think they did a good job with these again with the Nike air on the back. Uh, it's a little bit crooked, which is weird, um, but they have the Nike branding everywhere. Same complaint though I have with the threes. Um, it's just the shape, especially in the toe box, is a little boxy. It would be nice if we could get kind of like an OG shape on these also. Um, but again, until then, I'm super happy with these. Um, black, red, and white Jordans, just you can't really go wrong with them. Um, so yeah, those are my black cement fours. <clears throat> All right, so I've also got these. These are my black cat fours. Um, so yes, I've got two pairs of black Jordan 4s. Um, these were just like too hard for me to pass up. Obviously, I'll, I like black stuff, so um, they were just like, I, I don't know, the shape on these is really good. Um, I got a, a gift card from uh, my sister-in-law and her boyfriend. They always give me a Foot Locker gift card every year, so um, these were the ones that I chose to buy with that gift card, um, and I'm really happy that I bought them. The shape on these is good. It's a triple black pair of Jordan 4s. I uh, can't really go wrong with that. Um, I like that it's kind of like, they have like two versions of the Jordan 4s basically. You've got like the uh, the OG style with like the plastic wings on them, the plastic uh, back tab. Um, but on these kind of like with the uh, uh, the cool gray pair, you've got like the, the Durabuck covered wings and back tab as well. So I like those details. Um, not super comfortable though, I will tell you that. Jordan 4s for me. Like if you wear these all day, like my heel definitely starts hurting, starts kind of like rubbing up on, on the Achilles. Um, but other than that, I really, really like these a lot. Uh, they look amazing. So yeah, Black Cat 4s. <clears throat> all right, so unfortunately, I don't have any Jordan 5s yet. I'm hoping to change that with the uh, fire red pair that's coming out, um, but with this whole coronavirus bullshit that's going on, I don't know if I'm going to have money for those. Um, so until then, we're going to go with the sixes. So these, obviously, as you can tell, are my Travis Scott Cactus Jack sixes. Uh, these to me are just incredible. 
Um, these are by far my favorite Travis Scott Nike slash Jordan collab. Um, the details on these are great. Uh, you've got the Nike Air on the back. Olive green is one of my favorite colors. So again, amazing. And I'm a big fan of sixes. So a lot of people aren't really into Jordan sixes. Um, but for me, being that these were the pair that came out in 1991 and being born in 1991, there's kind of like that tie in. Um, but just overall, the styling on these is great. Um, and then specifically with this pair, again, you've got the glow in the dark outsole, which as I mentioned earlier, I'm a sucker for that. Um, but yeah, these are great, materials are nice. Um, and this pair for me, another really cool thing about this is, so I had, uh, up until this pair, I had never won on the Nike sneaker draw and I had never won uh, an online raffle. Um, but I won both of that uh, with this pair. So um, I won two pairs of Travis Scott sixes. Um, I was lucky enough to cop a pair on BSTN was it BS? Yeah, it was BSTN, which is, I, I want to say, a European retailer. Um, and then I just, for the hell of it, on the Nike sneaker draw, put my name in for that, and I copped a pair on there too. Um, so thankfully, I was able to pay, pay for my pair uh, with the second one. Um, but yeah, I really, really like these a lot. The details on these are great. Um, sixes are, are fairly comfortable too. Um, I can't really wear them all, all day like some other pairs that I have. Um, but yeah, overall, I really, really like the Travis Scott uh, Cactus Jack Sixes. All right, so with as much as I do like my Travis Scott Sixes, they are definitely not as good as these things right here. So infrared Sixes, absolutely one of my all time favorite sneakers. Um, OG Jordans are just like, just right up my alley. Um, great styling on these. Again, 1991 pair. Uh, these came out again with Nike Air on the back, like they've been doing with most of the OG retros, which I appreciate. Um, these, I was really, really excited to get. Um, I actually, I so uh, yeah, I got these Foot Locker. Um, I got these on Foot Locker with the launch locator system back when they had that. Unfortunately, we've got this uh, Flex app, which I'm not a fan of, but anyway, I caught these at Foot Locker, I walked in, grabbed them from the chick at the register and immediately put these on feet and walked out with them. That's how much I was really, really excited to get these. Um, I absolutely love infrared sixes, um, probably in my top five um, if I had to rank them. So I'm super happy to have these in the collection. Um, that does it for my sixes. So let's go ahead and move on, I think to the last pair. <clears throat> Let me make sure I didn't forget anything. Yeah, it's the last pair. All right, Bread 11s, man. Um, this is my first pair of Jordan 11s and I am absolutely in love with these. Uh, these are probably like right, oh man, it's so hard to rank them. I wanna say like, Probably my t my third shoe. I'd go Black Cement 3, and then the next spot would be probably the Shadow Ones or Band Ones. Like, they all kind of share a spot. I know that's kind of cheating, but it's my list, so deal with it. <laughs> These are going to be my third favorite of all time, uh, the Bread 11s. Uh, the patent leather, the black, the red. Um, these are just so, so nice. Um, and then, obviously, we got these holiday of 2019, they came back with the high cut patent leather. Um, I haven't worn these a ton just because, um, unfortunately, this is one pair of shoes that I think that as you wear them more and they start to crease more, um, they don't look quite as good just because of the patent leather. Um, so I am gonna try and limit my wears on these, um, but these are actually really comfy. I was surprised at how comfy these are. Uh, the cushioning on these is nice. Um, so these are surprisingly comfortable. Um, I'm a big, big fan of these. Uh, so I kind of like save one of the best for last. But another thing about these that is really, really important to me. So this was the first pair that I hit 6,000 views on YouTube. Um, everything else had kind of like um, topped off at right around 5,000 views, um, if that. So these hit 6,000 views. I was really, really proud of this review. I put a lot of work into this one. Um, I knew that quite a few people were gonna be watching the review, obviously, just because of um, how much everybody was looking forward to these. Um, so I was really proud of the review, proud of how it came out, and definitely proud of the results. 
Um, so yeah, these are gonna be kind of like another shoe that is pretty special to me in the collection. Um, but with these, that pretty much wraps up the collection. So if you've been hanging out with me this whole time, going through my collection, I appreciate you very much. Um, but more importantly, we're, uh, we're celebrating the 500 subscriber milestone. So that's just the start. We're gonna be building the channel even more. So thank you for coming along the way. Um, I really appreciate you guys. If you wanna have any comments on any of the shoes that I just showed you, definitely let me know down in the comments. Uh, I look forward to bringing you guys more content, upping the production value as we go and move forward. Um, but now we're officially on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Um, so thanks for coming along with me along the way. If you have anybody that you know who's into sneakers, um, if you wouldn't mind passing along the channel, I'd appreciate that as well. And as always, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Um, hit that notification bell. Uh, that way you're notified when I post new videos. And give me a thumbs up if you liked any of the shoes in the collection. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Later.